Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. This video is for everybody with Sun, Moon, or Rising in Taurus. And I will talk today about the month of April 2023, which is going to be another very interesting month. But, you know, we're starting off this month with Venus, uh, Uranus. I mean, Uranus has been for a while in your sign, right? And Mercury in your sign. So you're gonna really have this magnetic and mysterious vibe about you. And this mysterious vibe comes from Jupiter being in the 12th house. So a lot of you need a lot of rest. So it's like work and rest and work and rest. So find the right balance between these two. This is also a really beautiful time to do some type of healing. So if you're into like hypnosis or you're into um, energy healing or meditation, this is a great time to do that, right? Especially at the beginning of the month when the sun and we have Chiron and Jupiter in your 12th house in Aries. And this is giving you, even can give you supernatural experiences and you have a chance to heal a lot of subconscious programming that have maybe brought you belief systems that you are ready to let go of. Something, yeah, maybe some traumas or negativity that you grew up with that you now are ready to let go of. And it is really a time where you're gonna step into your independence and manifest and draw to you new opportunities. So this could be love, this could be money, because the first house is really about new beginnings. And the North Node is still in your sign, Taurus. So it's really drawing in these new opportunities that are going to stay with you for quite some time. It's a new cycle that is helping you evolve. So whatever had to go was meant to go. And whatever was brought to your life is meant to be there in that time, right? So it's also about learning how to let go and to have faith in God, the universe, that things will be okay. And this is what happens when Jupiter is in the 12th house as well. It is also protecting you from uh, people that do not have the best intentions for you. It's like you have this protection around your aura. So this guide or this angel that is protecting you towards maybe people who gossip or people who are trying to get in your way. Mars now went from Gemini to Cancer by the end of March. And this is quite major because Mars was such a long time in Gemini and it was in your second house. So you really were thinking about new ways how to make money. And now you're moving forward and maybe you feel like you wanna go on an active trip or a hike, maybe walk by the beach. Maybe you want to study something new around this time or read. It's a time to step into your creativity, whatever creativity means for you. Because you have a lot of, um, how do you say it? Creative potential at this time. So if you're a painter, or you're an artist, this is a wonderful time to create something behind the scenes. And maybe later on you're going to sell it or you're going to, maybe write poetry and later on you're gonna make a book out of that but you're kind of keeping it as a secret you're gonna work on something and it's like you're just keeping it for you um so on the 5th of april there's this full moon in the sign of libra and this will be in your sixth house and it is really about maybe you are in a situation at work that is uncomfortable and it would be good for you maybe to take some days off or to have some extra rest. The moon is opposing the sun. This is always happening with a full moon, but also Chiron, the wounded healer. 
and Chiron might be telling you like, hey, Taurus, you're working a lot. Maybe take a, a step back and relax a little bit. And with Pluto moving, well, Pluto already moved into the sign of Aquarius. And when you have your first few degrees in Taurus, you're going to have a massive transformation when it comes to your work, your public image. So be aware about the things that you speak in public. And I'm not saying that, you know, you have to be on, <laughs> on eggshells all the time, but it's more about mm, Pluto is going to bring out the truth. So this could be the truth of a company. This could be the truth of a situation. So this might be that you're transitioning from one job to another. Or actually you would get more power in a job. Because Pluto um, equals power. And it's really testing you. How are you dealing with this power? And they're handing it to you. And, and are you going to use that for good or for bad? Because Pluto might give you a lot of power. But also it's testing you. Are you going to do good with that? So, yeah, it's a very important time now. And Saturn has moved into your 11th house. So your friendships, maybe you actually don't feel like meeting friends. Or you suddenly have this feeling like, I don't want superficial friends anymore. I just want to be with friends that, that I value and that mean something in my life. And when you had Neptune in the 11th house, it might have been that you attracted people that maybe needed your help or, um, yeah, that you didn't see very clearly. But Saturn is going to clear, make things very clear to you. And they, you, Saturn usually cuts up what is not good for you anymore. You know, what doesn't make you mature. So your friendships and groups are going through, through some type of maturity right now and not to forget we have this really rare event happening on the 20th of april and this is a hybrid solar eclipse and this happens only around like seven seven times a century and um, so this is super rare and when we have a solar eclipse the moon is in between the sun and the earth so it's kind of covering the sun and when it's hybrid um it's a total it's a mix between a total solar eclipse and an uh, annular uh, solar eclipse <laughs> that's a lot of words <laughs> um so you know it will be covered completely and then also the annular one is the ring the ring of fire which is re really cool uh visual so yeah check out on the internet where you can see these wonderful sights sometimes you can see it sometimes you can't um but it really is going to shake up certain things and it's squaring pluto um so yeah, this might trigger some really huge events in the world. Um, might it be negative? It might be, yes, it might be. Um, it's really triggering people to stand up and take care of the earth. Because Aquarius is a rebellious sign. So you might see maybe strikes or people standing up for something around this time. Uh, because Pluto is creating tension between power and uh, this solar eclipse is at 29 degrees in areas. So it's like you as an individual and power, right? And this can be on a global level. This can also be on a personal level that you're going to feel like some tension, uh, right? For you, this could be related to your work some tensions with work and what you think you deserve and what it is you deserve because your inner feelings matter. So if people invalidate how you feel, it's, you know, this is not, how do I say this correctly? This is not true. <laughs> You know, when you start to think and you're also speaking, <laughs> mm. 
my, this is my Virgo over, like thinking and speaking at the same time. And then I get this brain freeze because <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's Aries. And then I was like, no, this is Taurus video. And then I was thinking that anyhow, um, I'm going to give you some cards. So don't listen to people who invalidate your feelings because your feelings matter, Taurus, like no other. So I have this beautiful heart cards and I just drew two. Look at this art. How lovely is that? New beginning. So yes, this solar eclipse is going to shake up things. Most likely this month is going to shake up things in your job. It's going to bring some changes. A new adventure awakes. Embrace it and live and dream. Live your dreams passionately. So Taurus, what is it that you would like to do? What is your heart telling you? And then I get time. So goosebump moment, it's time. Taurus, it's time. You're trying too hard, give it time. But I intuitively feeling this means it is time to go after your dreams, your new beginnings. And maybe you are trying too hard. Sometimes letting go is bringing you the things that you desire. Yeah. Uh, do I want to give you a love card? Yes. I want to close it down with a love card. So this, uh, we also, with this full moon, we're going to have Pluto squaring Mercury. So there might be some uh, truths coming out about, you know, um, social media. This could be like, for example, they're going to remove TikTok or like in some countries or you might see that there might be an outage or like a disturbance with social media. And also watch out for scammers or people that are not speaking truth. It might also be that you will see the people that are not speaking truth this month. Okay, I'm getting codependent relationships. So it could be that some of you have left just the codependent relationship or you're working on this process like being more independent with your north node in the first house the golden mirror narcissist so some of you had to deal with a narcissist or someone that was very you were in a one-sided relationship may that be you or the other person i'm leaving that totally up to you but there was a relationship that was not equal. One was more dominant than the other. Um, yeah. So I get healing heart. You're healing your heart and you're going towards your dreams. Okay. So this is my message for you. Thank you for watching Taurus. I really appreciate you. Keep going and keep thriving and follow your passion when it comes to your work. And uh, see you next time.